When you see a total solar eclipse, you can almost imagine standing on the surface of another world. That's because on planets farther from the sun than Earth, daylight is dimmer. And if you're in the eclipse path on April 8th, you'll see daylight dim for about an hour as the moon slowly covers the sun. About 30 minutes before the total eclipse begins, when the moon is blocking 56% of the sun, the brightness of the day will be similar to what you'd find on the fourth planet Mars. Roughly 8 minutes before totality, when the moon blocks 87% of the sun, the brightness of daylight will correspond to that on Ceres in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Around 3 minutes before totality, when the sun is 96% hidden, the brightness of daylight will be like that on the fifth planet, Jupiter, and its moons. And just 1 minute before totality, when the sun is 99% hidden by the moon, you'll experience daylight as it is on the sixth planet, Saturn. Many describe the experience of seeing a total solar eclipse as otherworldly. And it is otherworldly as sunlight dims and you imagine daytime on other worlds.